So because of traveling, I've been major, major jet lagged and that meant that instead of waking up at 4 a.m. I actually stayed up till 4 a.m. last night and it's currently 7.30 and that is because I kind of wanted to show you that you can be productive at any time and you don't have to wake up at a certain point or have this perfect exercise slash meditation routine if you kind of do what you love and for me that is coding and working on science and working on YouTube videos like this. Any time can be a productive time even if you're majorly jet lagged and there are actually a lot of benefits to being a night owl that I want to discuss today such that all my people that are night owls out of there can see that they are also represented. So let's get straight into it. So every day actually for me I try to set one goal that I want to accomplish within my work and at the moment that is creating this machine learning presentation that I have to give quite soon for the computational psychiatry course and I'm in general really nervous about this presentation because it's the first time I've been presenting for such a big group but I'm also really excited so I thought I would just do that this night and like work on this project. So the first thing I always do when I make a presentation is make a skeleton then I write down everything on a whiteboard I practice the topic a bit and I do that by speaking out loud I think a lot of people present presentations in their head and when they actually have to speak they get really nervous so if you have a presentation coming up I would definitely recommend to read it out loud and then I find the missing pieces create a powerpoint and usually I create powerpoints in LaTeX and then I discuss and practice it with colleagues so put down in the comments if you want to know a little bit more about how I make presentations so so I want to give a small tribute for all my people out there that are night owls. I think people always assume that only morning, early morning words have really good routines and that they accomplish a lot. But actually it has been shown that working in the evening can actually enhance your creativity, for example, and can enhance your divergent thinking. So divergent thinking is evening hours have been associated with better divergent thinking, which is the ability to generate multiple ideas and think outside of the box. This is critical aspect of creativity. And I definitely see online that people think that if you wake up really early in the morning that you magically become productive. But what I see a lot lately is this hyper optimization for certain morning routines. And I of course also made some. But in general, if you wake up three hours earlier and you exercise and meditate and drink these juices, in general, you don't really get anything done that brings you closer to the goal you want to achieve. And I do of course appreciate if you're a parent and these are your only hours that you have to yourself that you take them for yourself. I don't think the morning hours are necessarily better suited for this type of work than the evening hours because I think the morning hours are really really good for hard focused work and I notice myself that I'm usually really really focused in the morning but I think the evening hours are a lot more suited for creative work. So for example the first time I made any type of video for YouTube or even thought about the idea of YouTubing it was during the evening hours and also in general the evening hours tend to have this lack of distraction as well. So if you stay up past 12 no one is awake usually during the week and this uninterrupted time is just what I think is most important to get anything done for progressing in your goals so there are multiple people that I really admire that are evening owls so for example you have Franz Kafka the famous writer was known for his nocturnal writing habits often working late into the night on his literary works and then you have Brandon Sanderson I talked about him before he's one of my favorite fantasy writers and he says I am a night writer I've always been a bit of an insomaniac and built my pre-publication career on the back of working a graveyard shift at the hotel. So in general what I think is just the biggest advantage of working during the night is that we have this big block of time in front of us without any constraints. So usually in the morning, at least for me, if I wake up really early in the morning and I try to get a lot of stuff done, I usually have maximum three hours that I can do any focus on interrupted work or I have to wake up even earlier. But the benefit I think of working in the night is that you could in theory literally work through the morning kind of what I've done today but that's just because I'm jet lagged and this for me is really beneficial sometimes because if you're in the flow or if you're working on some kind of big project that you just want to finish and you're really pushing yourself sometimes it's nice if you just can continue working instead of having to interrupt it because you have to start the rest of your day so something else that I decided to do during the evening because I was super super bored and I was working all throughout the evening is to have a little language class and that's because I've been to Montréal 
Royale just now and I was really inspired to pick up my French again and that brings us to today's sponsor Lingoda. So for me speaking a language fluently goes beyond just speaking a language but it really is about practicing the language with native speakers and trying to speak as much as possible and that's where Lingoda has been a game changer for me. So despite my jam packed schedule and being super super jet lagged I could incorporate Lingoda lessons into my routine granting me valuable interactions with native speakers which is crucial for progression. So I have been doing that for the last few weeks to keep up my French and if you also want to try Lingoda out for yourself they have a lovely discount for my subscribers. So try Lingoda yourself with their seven day trial where you can take three small group classes completely for free and if you decide to continue then the discount code below gives you a discount for the first two months which is equivalent to saving up to 200 euros. So one thing that I've noticed with Lingoda, which I really love, is the interactive part. So they force you to speak French right from your very first class. And for me, I've definitely noticed that before Lingoda, my language abilities have gone down in French so much over the last couple of months. But now that I have the ability to take up their classes 24 seven, I don't have any excuses anymore not to speak French, at least once a week. So if you're interested in signing up for their classes, click the link down below and let's get straight back into the video. So after having language classes, working on my machine learning presentation and working a little bit on the video you see right now, I decided to finish my night slash morning routine by reading the book The Urge, which I've been highly enjoying. It's about addiction, addiction research, and it's written by a psychiatrist who himself has also struggled with addiction. So if you're looking for any type of book to read for the coming few weeks, I would definitely recommend this book. And if you have any recommendations of books you're currently liking, I would love to hear them. So put them down in the comments below. 